from the aspiring grassy knolls of Fort George to the cold Atlantic waters of Castine Harbor. This is Mug Planet. After swimming many miles, the Mug arrives at her birthplace to continue the extraordinary cycle of life. Our journey starts with an adult Mug making her way up the sandy beach where she deposits an egg into a hole. She then fills the hole for safety and incubation and makes her way down the beach never to see her young again. It is here in the many bathrooms located around Curtis Hall where mugs demonstrate their devotion to duty as well as take respite from the agitated green slippiness strikers, commonly known as strikers. Here a mug is found singing her beautiful mating call, mug mating call. Unfortunately, this attracts the unwanted attention of neighboring green cypress stragglers. The Biosceptosaurus is capable of bench pressing almost anything and anyone. What are you wearing? Where's your PT gear? I don't need PT gear. Oh, drop down and give me five right now. Say what? Drop down and give me five. Come here. Drop down and give me five more. 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 What are you doing, Mug? Get up. One more. One more. Stir your shirt. This mug is about to do the unthinkable. Take a third class pathway. With no strikers in sight, he progresses. Out of nowhere, the strikers attack. It's a feeding frenzy. In the confusion, the mug slips away. In order to catch the runaway mug, he must first be tranquilized with the assistance of the green slippopotamus. The mug is then closely examined. He is missing a shoe. His belt is undone. And there is no creases. Simply miserable. Finally, he is tagged for recovery. It has been several days since the mug was tranquilized. And the recovery team comes in and processes the mug and finally recovers him. The recovery process isn't always so simple, as the strikers must carefully transport the still incapacitated mug. The mug is 
carefully transported all the way back up to his natural habitat and inducted back into nature. It has been almost eight weeks and the new fourth class have finally begun to hatch. The newborn lets out a cry as it is the first time he has seen the sun. And as the mother once did, they too crawl to the water's edge. This will be the first time they ever leave Castine, but it is just the beginning of their long journey.